What's up? Good morning, guys. Today's Friday. Uh, the markets are low right now, so um, I want to show you something that I did real quick. All right, so if you see there, Tesla is down $3.24 right now. Um, the market is not even open yet, so what I had to do, what I'm doing right now is I placed a limit order, meaning sell at $18 or better, even though it's like at 19 something right now, so that way it should give me enough room for it to sell like instantly uh, because I want to get out while I'm still ahead because yesterday it went down a lot because one of the some firm gave it a sell rating and like a and some other analyst gave it a $160 price target even though it's like at $260 right now and you can see right there the current price is $19.78 and so I've set it lower just to guarantee that it would sell I'm trying to get rid of it as quick as possible because I'm expecting that price to drop as soon as the market opens and the markets about to open like right now so let's it's 8:30 on the dot so I'm gonna hit refresh on the web page and see what happens all right so the Tesla call did sell and it looks like it sold right at $18 I just checked the current price and it did drop a lot it's down to $18.25 the bid is at $17.70 so I was lucky I think I just set it just at the right amount because if I had set it any higher than that it might not have sold and I would have had to modify my order and maybe taken even a little bit more of a loss but if I did sell it um, I have some money now to spend, although the markets are down so much today, I don't know if I'm going to buy anything today. I might just have to wait and do some research. I'm not sure what I'm going to buy yet, so i got to think about it. Alright, so I'm going to keep an eye on the Tesla stock just to see if the price goes back up. If it does, I might buy. I just might buy an option again for further down in the future. Um, but let's take a look at how we did on that option. We'll take a look at the profit. Okay, so um, other stuff I have to do today, I have to tutor and mail lots of packages and edit lots of video. Um, I might be playing volleyball tonight, but I might pass just because I got a lot of videos to edit. I really want to get caught back up. It's been, it's been kind of hard to keep up with editing videos every day, but I'm trying my best. Uh, it's a lot of work, but I'm trying my best to get them out consistently so you guys can keep seeing the content and keep learning. Um, so yeah, lots of stuff to do today. So we'll check back later in the afternoon. All right, so I just got back from tutoring, and it is just absolutely insane what's going on today. There's so much stuff going on today. For one, it is super warm outside, so everyone is out. It is sunny. It is gorgeous. It's February 17th, and it's 65 degrees. This is just like, it's just hashtag climate changing all over the place. It's supposed to be in the 60s for like the next five days, or something like that. It's insane. So everyone's in a good mood. I think the market is in a good mood, too, because like stocks started off kind of rough this morning, and now a lot of them are up. I want to talk about all the stuff that's going on right now. It's just insane. We have Sprint jumping up today because apparently, so there's this company called SoftBank. I, I'm, I guess they're a bank. I'm not sure, but I think they're a, they're a Japanese company, and uh, they own most of Sprint. Actually, they own most of the Sprint company. Apparently, they're looking to sell Sprint to T-Mobile. So there's like a mer there's merger talk going on. And whenever that happens, whenever a company is, is someone's talking about buying it out or they do get bought out, their shares jump like crazy. So there's some sort of rumors going on. The FCC doesn't really want that to happen because then there's only going to be three major, you know, cell phone companies as opposed to four, which could create like some sort of like monopoly type of situation where they can raise prices because there's only three of them. So they kind of want them to remain separate, although Sprint and T-Mobile, they do kind of want to merge apparently. So you know, give more competition to Verizon and AT&T, which they've already been doing pretty well, I think, um, even without T-Mobile. But so, yeah, so there's some articles about that. They also improved their unlimited plan again, it looks like. With OLED, they had, so Universal Display Company, um, a couple of different analysts are giving them high price targets. This Cohen person, or whatever that is, firm, I'm not sure if it's a firm or a person, it gave them a $90 price target and right now they're at $72. Another analyst I read an article somewhere else gave them a $100 price target so they're up today and I, that's why I ended up just buying some more call options today and I'll show you that in a minute what I did. 
Um, out, you know, possible OLED use in Apple phones seems to be boosting two tech firms. So they're talking about universal displays since they make a lot of technology for the OLED. They're just doing a lot of stuff in OLED, and it, it's the rumors are people are saying, you know, just like I said, and if you remember episode seven, I'll put a little thing up here for you to click on it. Um, I was talking about universal display and how I believe TVs are going to go all OLED in the future. And I read some more articles about um, people agreeing with that and saying the exact same thing. So I'm pretty bullish on, on universal display company, so that's why I bought the options today. Habit Restaurants has earnings coming up in March. And then, of course, the Nintendo Switch is coming up in March. So the Nintendo shares have been doing well. I think it's they're trying to, I think the, the hype is being built up. And when that happens, the stock goes up. So I think I'm going to hold on to that until after the launch. And then I'll make my decision whether I want to keep it or sell it. Um, so yeah, just lots of crazy good things happening. Stocks are going up. You really want to just buy everything. You're in a good mood. Like this will happen. Um, but you won't have enough money. <laughs> so like that's the shittiest part about the whole entire thing. Like OLED is doing so well. I wish I could buy the stock and options. You know, I wish I could do both to like minimize my risk, but still get in the company. But I can't. I wish I could buy more Sprint, but I can't. I wish I could do all of that, but I can't. Um, so you really have to pick like the one or two companies you think are going to do the best in the near term, or even in the long term, have like the greatest return in the long term. Like which one will go up the most, and you kind of have to just make your pick, or you can kind of diversify and just pick a little bit of each one. But yeah. But if you keep doing that and you keep building, you'll eventually come to the point where you'll have enough money. And that's the goal, is to have enough money where you could spread it out wherever you want, however you want, like Warren Buffett did. He just, And with Apple, he just like tripled his holdings on Apple. So that's why Apple stock has been going up lately. That's another reason I might I want to either buy more Apple calls or, or just buy Apple stock. I'm not sure. I might just do the calls. I don't know. I mean, I've been having a lot of success lately with options, but I might just do an ETF as well because since I have so much money in options right now, I might need something really safe like an ETF. And that Vanguard ETF I was looking at, their biggest stake is in Apple. So essentially I could be doing that, like owning part of Apple as well by buying that instead of buying actual Apple shares. So I'm thinking about doing that. So it's 3.04 right now, but I think it takes a little bit to refresh. So we're going to come back in like 10 minutes and then we'll see what happens. I sold my Tesla call this morning and then I bought Tesla call af right after that um, for a further date. So you see it's September 15th instead of June. So I bought a further out date to, be, to lower my risk there. Then I sold my Netflix share and bought the OLED call for September 15th. So those are the trades I did today. And we're gonna see how those pan out. So I still have some money left over here I'm just trying to look at what stocks I want to sell, and there's really nothing that I really want to sell. I was looking at articles for Square, tap Square. So Square stock's doing really good. <laughs> so Square stock soars as City encourages investors to buy. Citigroup initiates a Square to buy rating ahead of earnings, and so I'm not. I was gonna sell them today, but I decided not to. I'm gonna hold on to them until after the earnings to see what happens, and then I might sell it after that. Twilio, I still think it has a lot of upside potential in it. I could sell this and then buy call options instead for Twilio. I'm thinking about doing that, but it's just kind of, this stock's kind of been going up and down a lot and it's a little too volatile for me. But Habit Restaurants also is reporting earnings pretty soon and they're doing fairly well as well. So I'm not really wanting to sell that. Uh, I'm just gonna hold on to that until after they report their earnings. And so, but once they do, I'll probably sell that I might sell a little bit of Twilio, I might sell some Nintendo, which will give me a larger balance up here, and then what I plan on doing is buying some more options, but offsetting that with Vanguard ETF. And I will just make a video about that when I do decide to do that. Sorry, so I'm thinking about doing that. Um, it's just, it's just shares are just going up so much that like I don't wanna miss out on that, and I kinda wanna capitalize on the opportunity. So I'm kinda taking the riskier route by buying some more options, but uh, I just think it's going to pay off, and so I'm willing to take that risk. And again, I'm going to offset that. I'm keeping my money in at and I'm going to keep my money in those shares uh, because that's a safe stock, and it pays good dividends. Uh, and then I'm going to buy that ETF in the near future. Um, so Nintendo Switch comes out March 3rd. Uh, Square reports their earnings March 2nd. So pretty much the beginning of March is when I'm about to do a bunch of trading. All right, so it's like 10 minutes after 3. It looks like... Um, the stock's close, like finished updating on the site, so let's see how we did today. Definitely had a good day today, so I'm excited because we had a really crappy day yesterday. 
According to this, we made a little over a grand, but again, I made some trades, so that number is not quite accurate. I ended up making like a little over $900. So it was close, but let's look at the percentages. Look at what happened with Sprint today. That's insane. So I owned 13 um, call options with a $9 strike price. And so I'm already what's known as in the money because its stock price is currently over $9. So that means that even if I do nothing with my contract when it expires, I can still buy the shares of Sprint for $9 a share um, if I want to do that. But I'm probably just going to sell the option because I'll just make more money probably that way. Yeah, so Sprint went up 3.33%. Square went up 4.818%. And if you look at the option here, it went up 43%. So that was huge today. So I made $455 with that, 232 with Square. The Amazon call went up, so I made 376 with that. So overall, really, really good day. And um, I, this is the call I just bought. So that was probably down before I even bought it. So yeah, so you can see like the biggest ones. Man, one of my friends was talking about buying one of the, this company a while back. We were both kind of upset about that because it went up like crazy today. And he, he was trading that a long time ago. But yeah, so you can see Square went up today. Skechers did well. Elio did well. Dollar Tree, Nintendo, Stamps.com. So these are all companies that I wish I could own. But since I don't have enough money to buy all of them, I have to just buy whatever I can. But yeah, we had a great day today. Back up over, over 47. So really happy about that. All right, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, there was a lot going on in this episode, so it might be kind of long, but just so much going on. Sometimes that happens, just so much news, so much, just everything is going crazy at the same time, and you want to try to try to do whatever you can to like capitalize on as much opportunity as you can. So it's just a lot of stuff going on. But hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Uh, if you did like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video if you have any friends who you think are going to be interested in investing. I'd really appreciate a share. That'd be awesome. And hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to do lots of editing this weekend. And then, yeah, I might not make any videos this weekend because it's really nice outside. Probably going to go outside and enjoy the weather. Hope you guys do too. Um, so have a great weekend. Stay safe. And we will see you guys on Monday.